play stupid games, win stupid prizes, episode 33. The guy standing behind me here is Remy Lucidi, also known as Remy Enigma. Now, he's one of these guys that scale skyscrapers, all sorts of crazy palm sweating type of stunts that he performed. And he'd amassed a pretty major following of people. I mean, if you look here, this is his Instagram page with 50,000 followers, all doing these kind of crazy hang off the edge of building types of stunts. Well, in July of 23, his last stunt was to scale the Tragunda Towers in Hong Kong. I'm not sure if he wanted it to be his last stunt, but it ended up being that way. So here's how it happened. He had become a pro at breaking into these skyscrapers in order to scale them for his videos. And so he walks up to the counter and he's like, hey, listen, I got a friend, they're on the 40th floor. And he starts kind of moseying his way over towards the elevator and is able to actually sneak on the elevator as they phone the friend and say, hey, no, stop that guy because the, the person on the 40th floor really didn't know him. And by that time, he was already in the elevator and security had missed him. Now, security footage from the skyscraper shows him getting off at the 49th floor and then hitting the stairs for the rest of the way up. Now, he makes it to the rooftop and security comes out through the hatch up there. They said they found it open, but once they got up there, they looked around, they couldn't find him anywhere. So they went back down trying to find other places. Maybe he had done that as a diversion. They didn't know who he was and what he did. Um, as a profession, so they just looked elsewhere in the hotel. Maybe that was part of a decoy or a distraction. Now, nobody knows exactly what happened next, but around 7.38, about an hour and a half after he had entered the lobby of the hotel, he was seen hanging on the edge of one of the windows, banging on it for help. And one of the maids noticed him, and she immediately called the police because she didn't know what he was doing up there. She didn't know why he was up there, and there's really no way to help. These things are extremely strong. It's not like she can break the glass. And it was sometime during that chaos where he loses his grip from outside that window and he's on the 68th floor and he falls. And his lifeless body would later be found laying on one of the balconies down there.